if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that like button and subscribe i really appreciate it so as more cars get more technology unfortunately this is the downside all that information that's been gathered in that vehicle whether you know how you drive the car how fast you're going and how you are with the brakes all those informations are consistently being recorded and uploaded and if you don't read the fine print which it's a <laughs> long ass pages of stuff that you have to sign but let's be honest none of us are going to go through those 80 pages or 100 pages worth of information that's being fed to us i'll, I'll be honest just like the, the user agreements that we all agree when we um open up our brand new phones our iphones our galaxies our androids any of these devices that has like a long list of terms and conditions um, that's on there right so all that data that they're collecting on us they use it for advertising that is why your phone is consistently listening to everything that you're saying and then when you go google search or you can be just having a conversation with somebody and then you go to um you you you, you start searching anywhere and for some reason it's it starts pushing out these specific ads to the things that you were talking about so we know that we're being tracked if you don't want to be tracked don't have a don't don't get a cell phone don't get any any electronic devices whether it's watches anything just throw all that stuff away <laughs> throw your computer away and just not have any technology at all in your house whether you have alexa or any um you know google whatever um the apple um you know speakers or whatever all that stuff is being recorded and they use it for advertising they sell all your information over to these advertising agencies and what's happening with the smarter the vehicles get unfortunately like i said they're recording all this information and they sell it to corporations like the insurance companies so this is this one is um well i already knew that i also know that a while ago they passed I don't know if they passed this law or whatever, but companies like Honda were shipping the vehicles with black boxes in it. So at the time of an accident or whatever, an insurance can request that kind of information from the vehicle. Um, just like the police department can also request it with a subpoena or, or whatever warrant or, or whatever. They can request that certain information about the vehicle and what happened before the accident, how fast you were going, and all that information is there recorded in the vehicle. My vehicle, it's a 2018 Honda Civic Type Part, and I believe it came with a black box in the vehicle. So if any case, if I ever get in a car accident and the insurance wants to find out certain information about said vehicle, they can. They can just pull up the information because the car records it. And my 2018 Civic Type Part, it's not the most advanced vehicle at the time. It has very, you know, minimal things in there when it comes to, you know, it has a GPS and all, but nothing that connects to the internet and gets updates like these newer vehicles that consistently get new updates from the, from over the air. Um, so anyway, let's go into the article. All right, so car makers are snitching on you and selling your data to insurance. So this, that doesn't surprise me. Advertised consumers are gamified tools to enhance their driving safety. Automakers across the industry are providing apps that reward users with points for good driving, which for me, no, hell no. Um, just like those devices that insurance company were giving you um, that you plug into the USB dongle, which I say don't do that because it will mess up your car the OBD2 port is designed for diagnostics only. So when you're consistently sending stuff into the electronics and those things aren't really like that regulated, it will fuck up your car in the long term. So if you have one of these USB, I'm sorry, not USB, but that OBD2 dongles, 
take that shit out of your car if it's being used for anything other than diagnosing or diagnostic of your vehicle don't plug it in man don't plug it in anyway so going on however companies like gm are selling the data collected through apps like onstar smart driver to data brokerage firms which are then utilized by insurers to determine rates an anonymous source who worked at detroit auto maker told the new york times that annual revenue from program is in the low millions that's still a boatload of money that they're getting from your data and what sucks is you might not be knowing that that's what's what's kind of creepy about it you don't know that your data is being collected you know is there like an option to opt out of this that's why i would never buy any of these gm vehicles with onstar on them it's good in some ways but then it's like bad in other ways too um i don't want any of that stuff and that's why i prefer older cars that are still doesn't have any of these smart techs don't get me wrong i love technology i'm all about tech i love technology but there are limits to me that's why i don't really want to buy a tesla because the damn thing has a damn camera in the vehicle and you don't know what any of those um data is being utilized for what kind of data that's being collected and shared with other companies you you don't know you really don't and at any time there's something wrong with your tesla or whatever tesla can actually shut the vehicle down remotely without you knowing about it they can reduce the amount of range in the vehicle you won't know you may be thinking it's just uh, battery degradation or other <laughs> issues that may be going on but lo and behold it's tesla reducing the amount of range you're actually getting in the vehicle but the revenue is coming at the expense of consumers some of whom say the they're unaware their data was being shared with insurers the owners of a Cadillac in Florida told Times that he was denied insurance by seven companies. Fuck. And eventually learned that his vehicle had recorded many instances of heartbreaking and acceleration as well as speeding. What if he's doing it on the track? What if he's doing it on the track? He's doing it safely. Hmm? I don't know the definition of heartbreak. My passenger's head isn't hitting the dash. Owner said, some, of the, some with accelerations, I'm not peeling out. I'm not sure how the car defines that. I don't feel I'm driving aggressively or dangerously. Alarming, the driver said he was not aware that OnStar Smart Drive existed and had never seen it in his My Cadillac app. That's where, that's where it gets shady. Could not find any evidence of having signed up for, the, for it at the dealership. Because you won't know. Because there's so many things for you signing at the dealership that you don't have time to read any of the terms and conditions or what comes in the vehicle like there's so much shit in there that you don't have time to go through it with a fine tune tooth comb <laughs> tooth comb um, for owners of high performance vehicles like corvette it's not clear if the apps know the difference between such maneuvers when the vehicle is on or off the track which i stated general motors admitted to the New York Times that it shares select insights. Yeah, okay. About braking, accelerating, and speeding over 80 miles per hour, as well as drive time with data brokers, but said the customers agreed to share their data when they signed the user agreement. And so I think a few years ago, California actually passed a law um, where you can decide how much of your data is being shared with these companies. Just like when you go to any website, at least here in California, I don't know where else that's available, where it asks you um, what kind of information you want certain websites to collect for your cookies, I guess. Um, for me, honestly, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. They already know everything. <laughs> it, it, it's, it, it, it really does not fucking matter at this point. They know everything to know about you. GM isn't alone. Other automakers with smart apps like Kia, Mr. Mitsubishi, uh, Hyundai, Honda, Acura also have uh, driver feedback apps that share data with brokers. But I've never seen any of that shit on my vehicle. I haven't seen any of that stuff in my app either. I would never sign up for that shit. Um, they should have an option to opt out or at least not share your data. Um, they also say that information is only shared if a driver consent to it, but in Honda's case information about what data is being used for is buried in 2000 word terms of condition document holy shit 
and I, like I said, they have these big fucking companies that can go in and add all these gibberish that we'll never understand because unless you're a fucking lawyer um, for me I'm just a simpleton I'm not gonna understand some of the lingo or the jargons that's being written on those terms of service um, I just know that I want my car to do certain things I want it to take me wherever I want I need to go and it works that's my main concern I don't really give a shit about any of the other stuff if I need to figure out where to go I use I don't even use the um, the the maps on my vehicle I rarely ever do most of the time I just use Google Map last month Senator Edward Marquis of Massachusetts Massachusetts urged the Federal Trade Commission to investigate the collection of data from drivers even proponents of usage-based insurance like University of Chicago law professor Omar Ben Sherry question what he described as stealth enrollment yep that's exactly what the fuck it is he claimed that drivers who know they're being monitored drive better that is true but the argument that these programs serve the public falls or uh, public good falls apart when owners don't know they're being tracked that's the fucking problem that's why i don't want i never utilize any of these kind of things that were if it's in the vehicle i'm not interested in it just like i was not interested in putting one of these um all state um driver whatever crap that they were offering at the time i think it was nationwide i think nationwide was offering some sort of device that you can put in your obd2 and it tracks your driving habits which i'm just not interested in or no thank you no thank you there's certain things i just don't want to fucking share uh but anyway you guys let me know in the comments below i'm honestly not surprised at all <laughs> a gm is just trying to make a buck anywhere that they can <laughs> anyway um don't want to keep you guys too long as always make sure to like and subscribe i don't know what you're waiting for just do it it takes two seconds and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day.